Hello my friends, welcome to Top Classical Music. Today we are going to talk about the revolution that Richard Wagner implemented in his operas. Wilhelm Richard Wagner, May 22, 1813 to February 13, 1883, was a German composer, theater director, polemicist, and conductor who was chiefly known for his operas. Unlike most opera composers, Richard Wagner wrote both the libretto and the music for each of his stage works. Initially establishing his reputation as a composer of works in the romantic vein of Karl Maria von Weber and Giacomo Meyerbeer, Richard Wagner revolutionized opera through his concept of the Gesamtkunstwerk, total work of art, by which he sought to synthesize the poetic, visual, musical and dramatic arts, with music subsidiary to drama. He described this vision in a series of essays published between 1849 and 1852. Wagner realized these ideas most fully in the first half of the four opera cycle Der Ring de Nieblungen. His compositions, particularly those of his later period, are notable for their complex textures, rich harmonies and orchestration, and the elaborate use of leitmotifs, musical phrases associated with individual characters, places, ideas, or plot elements. His advances in musical language, such as extreme chromaticism and quickly shifting tonal centers, greatly influenced the development of classical music. His Tristan Uendi Isolde is sometimes described as marking the start of modern music. Richard Wagner had his own opera house built, the Bayreuth Festspielhaus, which embodied many novel design features. The Ring and Parsifal were premiered here and his most important stage works continue to be performed at the annual Bayreuth Festival, run by his descendants. His thoughts on the relative contributions of music and drama in opera were to change again, and he reintroduced some traditional forms into his last few stage works. Until his final years, Richard Wagner's life was characterized by political exile, turbulent love affairs, poverty and repeated flight from his creditors. His controversial writings on music, drama and politics have attracted extensive comment, particularly since the late 20th century, where they express anti-Semitic sentiments. The effect of his ideas can be traced in many of the arts throughout the 20th century, his influence spread beyond composition into conducting, philosophy, literature, the visual arts and theater. Well, that's all for today. See you in the next video.